Hello everybody, this is Kevin speaking. Next we will need the partition cabinet. And from here we can see this is partition cabinet. And for the partition cab cabinet we have uh, four series. The first series for the basic frame. Uh, now we just drag in the first cabinet. And then the second uh, models. The difference between these two models is the structure is, is a little bit different. The first unit is the is two unit, is two part. So from the side view we can see the joint line from here. And the second unit is for one piece. So the side panel is just one piece. And because for all this partition cabinet is both side is visible, that means the front side and back side is both visible. So uh, for this kind of unit, the back panel structure is different. From here we can see all the back panel is extended to the front. Is extended to the front. And the next, if we want to change the inside structure, just double click and then uh, add functional component. Press K will be key. And this is similar with the normal cabinet. The only one difference is for this unit we have the double side with the panels. For example, the first one is for the shelf. For this shelf, its double side is visible. So that means for this shelf, the front side and the back side, the edge bending, the edge bending material is different. Another difference is for this unit, we have the spatial back support panels, like this one. We have three types, spatial back support panels. Suppose we choose the first one and then just drag inside. Okay. And from here we can see the all the information of, of this um, back support panels. Here is the wings, the wings of this support chips. Now this wings is 60 mm and the minimum uh, is also 60 mm. We cannot set in the size less than 60 mm. For example, 50 is not working. So the range is from 60 to 100. Suppose we change 80 mm. So the wings of this support strip it change it and the next this is for the distance between the back panel to the end pa side panels this distance he suppose which was also 80 mm now this distance is changed okay this is a special spot panel for this um, partition cabinet and then after we double click this cabinet then we can set in the uh, uh, total size the total information of this cabinet this is similar for them, the width, the depth, and also the height. Okay, and here is the uh, the shelf uh, elevation. Suppose we change to be one meter. Now this the bottom part is changed, and this one is for the kickboard. This is the height of the keyboard, okay? <coughs> and this is the keyboard information, the front keyboard and the without keyboard. This is similar with the, with the normal cabinets. Next, we go for this unit. For this unit, it's for only one column. And for this unit, it's for also one column. The difference is just the structure is different. For this unit, is the top come top covers two side panels. And for this one, it is two side panels cover the top panel and board panel and then <laughs> double click and the press K to add functional component this is similar with some other normal unit normal cabinet suppose we add one more shape inside okay and also we can add the door panel in the front and back side here install panel and then the top the bottom left and the right here the single door suppose Okay. And from another side, we also can add the door panels, install panel, the top, bottom, left, and the right. So that means for this unit, the front side and the back side is both with the door panels. When we open the door, we can see both sides with the door panels. So that means in the future, if we want to design some cabinet, which uh, with the door in the front and back side. That means we must select the models from the partition cabinet from here, the partition cabinet. 
we cannot use the base cabinet for example this one and then just delete and then delete the back panels and then add the panel from this side and also add the back, back add the door panel in the front side add the door panel in the front side and back side we cannot design like this okay we must choose the models from here from the partition cabinet next for this unit for these two units it's similar just as the uh, the columns is different for these two unit is one columns and for these two unit is two columns suppose you just drag inside then we can see these are two columns and sometimes our designer want to divide this uh, space to be two part the front part and back part in that case we can just add the back panel will be k at fox dot panel and from here this is uh, the back panels so we just drag inside and then from here we can set the distance between the back panel to the back side of this unit suppose here we choose uh, 200 just import 200 and from here we can see uh, the back panel will divide this uh, space to be two part the front part and also the back part the two part next for some unit this is similar just the structure different and for this one it's already has the door panel on the bottom part for example this one already with the door panel so we can just add the functional component in this area and for this door panel we also can delete delete and then just change the inside structure it's similar so actually this unit is the same with the uh, first unit okay it's the same with the first unit next is for some uh, other special uh, uh, partition cabinet for example the first this one the countertop and the top panel we have some uh, spatial shape spatial design and from here we can set in the information of this top panel or countertop for example the top panel we can set the thickness 80 or 25 and then for extension left or right here is the style of this uh, top panels the first one is the square means the square shape and this one means the left is a half circle and this one is the front and back side it also have the, the fillet design the round shape and from here we can set in the uh, radius of this round shape suppose 200 and we can see this uh, radius is changed so our designers will just connect these panels and then from this property by this all the information of these panels we just try by ourselves it's okay this is not very difficult but well, this is some other unit it's similar just the, the direction is different some is left some is right some unit is, is the is front some unit is, is is back so actually it's similar okay next uh, next we go for the partition uh, cabinet on partition cabinet on the cabinet for this unit after we drag inside and then we can see it's not it's not working this is because this is because for the, all this unit cannot exist independent that means for this unit must contact with some other cabinet or contact with some other unit for example in the bottom we already have the this unit huh? and then in the top we can have some other uh, top unit then just drag inside and then this is will be working and the wings to be 600 and this one also change to be 600 600 so now these two unit will be combined together and the factory will uh, produce the connected home between the sub panel and this countertop between sub panel and this countertop 
So that means for these two units will be uh, combination. And by the way, uh, for this count cabinet, the bot unit must design the top panel cover the side panel. We cannot use the side panel cover the top panel. For example, if we choose this one, this unit. This is side panel cover the top panel, and on the top we choose this one. Uh, we change the size, change the width to be the same width. 500. So this kind of design is wrong. It's not correct. It's not correct because the factory cannot the factory cannot produce the home between the side panel and to these side panels. So the bottom cabinet structure must be the top panel cover these two side panels. So this structure, this structure is is wrong. Okay, for some other unit, this is similar. We just drag inside and then double click to add, to add functional component, and then we can change the inside structure, change the inside structure. Next, we go for the back light structure, which means the back side is also uh, visible. For example, we choose the first unit, and from here, we can see the back panel is extend to the floor. It's extend to floor because this is the back side is visible, back side visible cabinet. So actually, this kind of cabinet is similar with the basic frame. It's similar with this one. Or this one is similar and sometimes our software will uh, for some unit our software cannot download these models uh, this is because the um, network problem network problem and in the future we will solve this uh, small box solve this small box but if you understand but if you understand this cabinet for some other unit actually is similar just as the structure is different and also the columns is different Next, we go for the last part is for the standard models, which means for some standard partition cabinet. And our designers, we can just drag this standard models inside. And then from here, we can change the total size, the total size, the width, the depth, and also the height, and the keyboard information. And we can also delete some panels. For example, we can delete these door panels or delete these uh, divide panels. And we also can uh, change the inside structure. Just double click and then add functional component. And from here, this all all the available inside structure, inside panels. So that means in the future, our designers can just uh, reference these standard models and according these standard models to do some small adjustment. Will be okay. Okay, now we already finished the partition cabinet. Next, we will go for the cabinet, the sideboard cabinet, sideboard cabinet. This is for some uh, standard models for sideboard cabinet, and the first one uh, we just drag inside, and the front right side. This is the total size, the depth, the width, and also the height. And from here, this is the depth for the tall cabinet. Now this 400 is the depth for the tall cabinet. We can change the depth. Suppose 500, then we'll be changed. And then the total size, suppose the depth will change to be 1.8 meter. And then we'll be changed. But from here, we can see this um, uh, error remount has come out. So here, the parameter is greater than the 600. Okay, so that means for the depth for this cabinet, we need to change it. We just click this cabinet, and from here we change the depth. The maximum depth is 600, so just less than 600 will be okay. So now this arrow is gone. And also for the inside structure for the top uh, tall unit and for this base unit, it's uh, similar with the normal cabinet. We just uh, right click to add functional component, 
and then we can add some shelf, some door panel, drawers, or some other accessories inside. And this is the first unit. And next is the second unit, a set uh, board cabinet. The difference between these two units is the first unit with the, uh, here, this, here is the cabinet, but the second unit, this here is just the panels, the sub panels to support this countertop. This is the only one difference. The first unit here is the cabinet, and the second unit is only one support panels. This is the only one difference. Next, we we'll go to the third unit. For this unit, uh, front side we can see uh, for this top cap, top cabinet is two part: the top part and uh, the um, bottom part. The top part and the bottom part. So from side view, we can see this is the uh, countertop. But for this unit, uh, we cannot see the countertop because the side panel is already covered the countertop. So this is the only one difference. For this unit, the top cabinet is separate by two part. And if you want to change the inside structure, this is the same with the normal cabinet. Next, we go for this cabinet. Okay, this unit uh, is different. Uh, the, the, the only one different between this unit to this unit is the, the first one is the cabinet to support this countertop, and the second one is only the side. Uh, panels to support this countertop. This is the only one uh, small difference. So our designer can just try it by ourselves. It, it will be okay. This is not very really difficult. And next one is for the mid side uh, cabinet. Uh, for this unit, it's only the uh, the sideboard cabinet without without the tall cabinet in the back side. And next for the 4D kitchen table, for this, uh, this is for the, uh, uh, just like a kind of shelf to fix on the wall panel, but this shelf can be lifted down, can be lifted down. So this is the 4D tables. And from back bottom side, we can see this is two hardware. Okay, we can set in the hardware to 4D this table down. And double click from here, we can set in the size. The width is from 600 to 1 meter, suppose 900. And next, for the depth. The depth, uh, the minimum depth is 320, and the maximum depth is 450. The maximum is 450. Uh, this is because uh, if the uh, depth is bigger than 450, uh, maybe the hardware cannot, cannot support these uh, tables, cannot support tables. So that's why the maximum depth is 450. The next unit is also the 4D and table fixed on the cabinet, fixed on the cabinet. So that's why if you just drag this 4D table inside, then it's not working. We must first add one more cabinet. For example, here we add the one spade, uh, basic cabinet, and then change the size. Suppose the width to be uh, 700, and then from here, this is the cabinet, side of the cabinet, and from here, for this 4D table, we can uh, put inside of this cabinet. And double click this uh, 4D table. This is the depth the size information of these four tables, the depth, and here is the, the height information. The height can be the default height and also can be custom mass. Okay, if you choose custom mass, here just uh, input will be care. 50 means the distance between the table to the top of this cabinet. Suppose I make 100, so now this distance is changed, the distance is changed. But usually we just choose default uh, will be okay. And from here, this is the, the, the total depth of these 4D tables.
Okay, next we go for the push down for um, dining tables. This one. For these motors, uh, we can just push down in this area. Push down this area and then uh, for slightly inside, slightly inside. So for this kind of unit, can make it full use of the space. Can make it full use of space. If you need use this uh, table, just uh, slide outside will be okay. If you don't need use, just push down to slide inside will be okay. And because this uh, kind of uh, table, we have the special uh, hardware. For example, this one is special hardware. So that means uh, the size, the total size, will have some uh, size restriction. For example, the wings will make it to be uh, 900 or 1000. Okay, the maximum is 910 millimeter. The minimum is 610 millimeter. So we have some size restriction. This is because we will use some special hardware. And then next for the depth. For depth is from 1580 to 1668 mm. So for example, make to 1.6 meter will be key. And then for the inside structure, we just add functional component. Here is for some common used uh, panels. We can just change the inside structure will be key. And for this push down 40 dining table can combine with some other cabinet. For example, in the back side, we want to add one more cabinet. So from here, we just choose another cabinet. For example, the base cabinet. Here we have some uh, suppose the shoe cabinet because this cabinet is without the bottom panels. So we just drag inside from here and then we change the size. Because for this push down table, the wings is 900. So this one we should choose wings uh, over the 936 because uh, this 936 is including the side panels. So we just uh, uh, change the size and also the height to be 1.8 meter like this. And then we move the positions. And sometimes if we move the position is not working, then uh, we just press control and then move the size will be okay. Okay, now this arrow is come out because these two unit is uh, conflict. So we need to change the positions. And from here is the tools. The side panel to this 40 table, the distance is 40 mm, which change to be zero, zero mm. And still have the uh, conflict. This is because the back panels. Then the solution is we can move this uh, 40 table front a little bit. Okay, and another solution is we just delete this back panels. Okay, delete this back panel. Add, add one more shelf in this area. And then we can add the, another back panel. So that means in this area we do not add the back panel because we already have the back panel for these uh, 40 tables. And then we can just change the positions of these 40 tables. Will be okay. Okay, this is just uh, one of the solutions. So that means for this sideboard cabinet, for this one, can uh, combine with some other unit, combine with some other unit. Uh, next is for the 40 table with the, also should be placed in the cabinet. This is similar with this one, okay. Uh, First, we just add one more cabinet, and then suppose we change the wings to be uh, 900. From here, this is the sideboard cabinet, the 40 table put inside. Okay, the difference between this 40 table to uh, with this one is for this 40 table, it would be extend up, extend uh, front. So that means for this part can fold it down. But for this unit,
for this unit we cannot uh, uh, extend a front we cannot extend front so this is the difference between these two 4D tables and from here we can just change the depth of this uh, x uh, this 4D table depth the maximum is also 400 mm because if the depth over the 400 mm this uh, hardware cannot support this 4D tables that's why the maximum depth is 400 mm okay this is the difference between these two 4D tables okay now we continue okay next is for another push down 4D uh, tables this 4D tables is combined with some other tables and the push down 4D table is in the right side here is another uh, tables from here you can change the uh, size the total winds and the depth and here this is the depth and the winds for this push down 4D tables we make it 100 okay the winds for this part and here is the total winds for the this unit from here the arrows come out it's not it's conflict so that means we cannot we need to change the size 1.2 meter okay this is the uh, push down 4D table combined with some other tables and the 4D table is in the right and this one the 4D table is in the left uh, this is similar next is another push down uh, 4D tables we just drag inside but for this one we can customize okay we only can customize the inside structure for example this one we just right click to um, to add a functional component and then from here we can add some panels or some uh, divider panels or some uh, accessories or some functional structure for this unit so that means the structure for this uh, 4d table is can be changed it can be changed so here we can delete these panels and also delete these panels Okay, this is the difference between this four push down for the table and with this one. The last unit for some uh, <coughs> standard models. Okay, this is uh, I think this is uh, some uh, is very common used uh, um, sideboard cabinet. Of just the, here is come top and side panel here is another uh, cabinet for this cabinet we can just replace try to replace then we can choose some other uh, models some other models all the available models will come out and then the inside structure also can be changed okay and also the come top we can change the thickness and also the uh, the design the style of this come top for example the the radius of the of this part and also the radius of this part okay so these two unit is actually is very really, uh, easy and simple so our designers can just drag inside and then and change it with the key okay now we already finished the sideboard cabinet and next we go for the um, bankery cabinet And this is all the bank and cabinet and the first one is for the top board panel a cover to side panel this is the, the similar with this with the uh, base cabinets but for the bank uh, cabinets usually we do not suggest our uh, designers to select this cabinet because uh, usually for the bank area with, uh, with with the water in that area so uh, we do not do not suggest the board panel to contact with the floor directly and for the second unit the second unit is the another bankrupt uh, cabinet for this cabinet is the uh, top panel cover the side panels but for this cabinet with the adjust uh, <coughs> legs on the bottom part on the bottom cabinet we have adjust legs so we just had the bottom panel we can see this 
four adjust leg to support this cabinet. And uh, we also have the aluminum kickboard. This is for the aluminum kickboard to cover uh, the uh, adjust leg. So usually we suggest our customer to design this structure. Okay, the board panel do not contact with the floor directly. And for the inside structure, this is similar. This is the same with some other normal cabinet. We just double click and press K to add functional component. This is the same with some other normal cabinet. Here we don't have the, the detailed instruction. So that means the only one different between this balcony cabinet to some other normal cabinet is the bottom part is different. For the balcony cabinet, we have the adjust leg to support this cabinet and also we have a aluminum kickboard to cover this adjust legs. This is only one difference. And for this unit, it is similar with the second type, just the structure is different to side panel cover the top panel. And for this two, this unit is the uh, we also have four uh, adjust leg, but this adjust leg is not fixed on the bottom panel. It's fixed on the side panels. It's fixed on the side panel. So for this unit, it's without the board panel and also without this aluminum kickboard, or just to be open. And for this unit, if you want to add the back panels, so you can add from here add functional component. Here we have the back panel, just drag inside. But after we drag, drag this back panel inside, this arrow remount is come out. So that means uh, for this back panel is not match with this uh, structure. Because for this uh, cabinet is the open structure without bottom panel. So this is the open structure cabinet. For the open structure cabinet, usually for the back panel we cannot add this normal back panels. We cannot add this normal back panel, normal back panels, we should add this one because this is special and back panel is only for this uh, open cabinet. So we just drag inside. And then it's working. So that means for the open cabinet, the back panel we should use the special back panel which is only for the open structure cabinet. Okay, uh, next for this balcony cabinet, uh, the difference between uh, this unit is for this unit we have the uh, countertop or well, cross door countertop. Okay, for this countertop we can just right click for the material, we can change the material. Right now we only have two count of material the uh, ground material and uh, the uh, black material, two colors, two colors. Okay, for this unit is uh, similar, just we have another uh, cabinet in the, in the left side here. The left side with the cabinet and also with adjust leg and the keyboard. But the right side, we use another uh, two adjust leg to support this side panels. Okay. And for all the inside structure changes, it's the same. Just add functional component will be key. And the difference between this unit is this for this unit. The cabinet is in the left, this one is the cabinet in the right. Okay. And for this one, uh, maybe the structure is different. It's a side panel, car with the top panel. Okay. And this one is open, um, base cabinet is without, without the top panels. And for this two unit, it with the And for this two unit, is we are cut in the back side. For, for example, this one will be cut in the back and the right side. And from here, we can set in the cutting size. For example, 300 by 200. Set in the cutting size. Okay, this is the cutting in the back and right side. For this unit, is cut in the left and the back side. And also, we have the four adjustable leg to support this uh, cabinet and also with the keyboard to cover this sub, uh, adjust the leg. Okay, now we finish the bank cabinet.
thank you